Welcome! In this video, we discuss gesture recognition and human-machine interface, also known as HMI. A human-machine interface is a user interface that presents data to an operator about the state of a process or system, and it can accept and implement the operator's control instructions. Typically, such information is displayed in a graphic format called a GUI, which stands for Graphical User Interface. As the name implies, gesture recognition is a type of computing user interface that allows computers to capture and recognize human movements or gestures and convert that information into a data stream that can then be used for various digital purposes. So instead of typing with keys or tapping on a touch screen, a gesture recognition system perceives and understands movements as a primary source of input data. Gesture recognition systems can be either a touchless system or a touch-based system. Therefore, by employing gesture recognition controls, the need for interacting with physical devices such as the mouse, keyboards, and or buttons will be diminished and in some situations eliminated. And when combined with other advanced user interface technologies such as voice commands and face recognition, gesture recognition can create a richer user experience. There are multiple gesture recognition technologies, including miniature radar systems, cameras, and electrical near-field sensing. Soli is one of the projects of Google's Advanced Technology and Projects Group, or ATAP. Soli is a radar-based gesture recognition technology which uses small, high-speed sensors and data analysis techniques for detecting fine motions with sub-millimeter accuracy. As an example, Soli allows users to issue commands to a computer by rubbing a thumb and forefinger together in predefined patterns. Camera-based or vision-based gesture recognition technology uses a camera or cameras to capture and derive human movements. Both 2D and 3D cameras can be employed together with computer vision for translating human gestures. Electrical near fields or E fields are generated by electrical charges and propagate three-dimensionally around the surface, carrying the electrical charge. When an alternating voltage is applied, the resultant E field is also alternating. And when the alternating wavelength is much larger than an electrogeometry, the result is a quasi-static electrical near field that can be used for sensing conductive objects, such as a human body. For example, when the operator's hand intrudes the E-field, the field becomes distorted. Specifically, the field lines interrupted by the hand are shunted to ground through the conductivity of the human body itself. As a result, the three-dimensional electric field decreases locally. And speaking of electrical near fields for gesture recognition, today's demonstration will focus on an evaluation kit that uses this type of technology. This is an evaluation kit using Microchip's MGC3030 3D gesture controller, which is based on their Jest IC technology. This evaluation kit comes with a USB cable, an I2C to UART bridge, the MGC3030 unit, and the reference electrode PCB. The I2C to UART bridge includes a PIC USB microcontroller, an LDO voltage regulator, which converts 5 volts from the USB to 3.3 volts, a 6-pin socket for data communication and power, and a status LED. The MGC3030 unit includes the MGC3030 3D gesture controller, a 6-pin header for data communication and power, a 7-pin socket for interfacing with the electrode, and it also has a status LED. The reference electrode PCB is a rather simple two-layer board design. The top layer includes five electrodes, north, south, west, east, and center. The bottom layer is a ground plane with a single seven pin connector. To use this evaluation kit, you must first download and install the Aurea evaluation software. Go to this website, scroll down to software, Click on the Aurea Software Package GUI, download the file. Before opening the software, connect the boards together and attach the USB cable. With the software open, the Calibri Suite tab is open by default, which shows the output signals of digital signal processing. We can see how the signal level strengths of the five electrodes change as I move my hand. We can see various gestures in the gestures window. I'll swipe left, right, 
down, and up. If I click on the two circular tabs, circular gestures will be detected. I'll make a counterclockwise gesture and a clockwise gesture. If I click on the touch tab, it will detect when I touch or tap the PCB. I'll tap the board once and I'll double touch. As you can see, there are additional gesture tabs. And if you want to record logs, click on the record icon and name the log file. Finally, if we want to look at the plots of various sensor signals over time, click on the signals tab. The gestures are displayed on the bottom. I'll swipe left, right, I'll touch the board once and twice. I hope you enjoyed this video from DigiKey. Thanks for watching.